Hey, this is step two of how to um, create a pawn out of clay for your chess set. I have um, my half made tree and I have some red wine, and vine red wine vinegar. You can use red wine vinegar, you can use white vinegar, or you can just use a little bit of water, although vinegar does work better for this. Um, some crumbled clay, um, a needle tool, and your scoop tool. So what you're gonna do is take a little bit of the red wine vinegar and um, take your clay and put it in there. Oh, and you also need like an old toothbrush or you could use a new toothbrush. I know every time I go to the dentist, they give me a, um, a toothbrush and I don't use them because I like using electric toothbrushes. And you pulverize the clay in a few drops of vinegar and you have this, or water, and you have this like great solution. There you go. Now, what you can do with this is you can scrub any cracks that you might be having that you don't want. Um, I'm actually kind of loving this as um, an attachment tool, as a texture tool on a small piece. Um, now, the one issue is if you're using this to create texture, just know that um, the glaze will probably cover up the texture. So you would have to do something that we call a under glaze wash um, to decorate your piece. Um, you saw something similar on the Great Priory Throwdown, um, an oxide wash where they put oxide on and then they take some of it off. Um, so I went over my surface with that. The tree's looking pretty good. Um, now I can take my needle tool and I can create some really great texture with a needle tool if I want for this tree. I could go around the whole thing and do that. I can take my scoop tool and create some bark texture or carve away, thinning out. The width here, I just want to be careful because I don't want to go all the way through. Then I can use my scoop tool or my the other side, the arrowhead. I can make grass. And I can make I want to make a transition line that will help me with my glaze. Every time you're going to kind of change your glazing from one thing or one color to something else, and you want it to happen like distinctly, put a little line there. So this is like where my dirt starts and the grass ends. Okay. And then you set it up exactly how you want to see it. I'm just going to show you. And you just let it sit there until it firms up and you can carve away more. 
Or if you want to move on to another piece, put it in a little Tupperware bin, like a recycled, con I say Tupperware bin, recycled um, food container airtight with a cap, like um, maybe a yogurt container or a, um, if you don't have a yogurt container, maybe like sour cream container or something, something like that. Um, you might be thinking, well, the grass texture and the leaf texture are awfully similar for this one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to glaze them distinctly different colors. And then the texture will look similar. Okay. So if you have any questions, go ahead and send me a message. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Happy making.